Okay. Hi everybody. This is Amanda. Um, I was telling my friends that I was going to do a video talking about epilepsy and seizures and things like that. Kind of just like a little, um, I don't want to say self-help thing, but also for like others. Um, I've looked up online and usually whenever I look up seizures and um, videos about epilepsy on YouTube, I see a lot of things that actually piss me off. They're like making fun of it and stuff. Teenagers and things like that. There really aren't too many videos that explain um, like what it is or um, educational things. And um, <clears throat> I just want to talk a little bit about my case in case that there's anybody else out there that is going through the same thing that they will be able to hopefully identify and maybe feel better that they have somebody else going through the same thing. Um, it does take a big part out of your life and it's a battle <laughs> each day. So um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was medication. Um, personally me, I take two different kinds of medications and one is a study that I'm on. I've been on it for I'd say about two years now and it's this one right here um, it's some long name I don't even know how to pronounce it but I've been on it forever um, I noticed it was doing well for a little bit and then it stopped working for me but um, I've also been taking this one which is Tegretol XR XR just extended release take both of those together um, with a total of say 12 pills a day. That's nothing though compared to the past. I have taken up to 16 pills a day. Um, on this study you basically write down how many you're having a day and what kind they are if they're just small auras. Auras meaning like a funny feeling when you kind of get this scared feeling and you just kind of blank out just for a second and then you, like, everything just comes back. It's a very, very weird feeling. So, um, there's a, I don't think I have it with me, but there's a little notebook that I keep. And then I also have this huge journal that I write in to talk about, you know, if you have to write down whether you've taken cough medicine. The, the smallest thing that you've done while you're on this study, you need to jot down. Like, you need to write down how many you're having a day, what kind, uh, if you had to take a day off work uh, due to your seizures, that's in the back of the journal. Like I said, um, any other medications like cough medicine, you need to write that down in there as well. Uh, you get used to it after a while, it becomes pretty easy, but in the beginning it's kind of difficult. Now December 15th, which it's February 2nd right now, uh, December 15th of last year I got the VNS done. The VNS is for the vagus nerve stimulator. I was very, very, very excited about it. Um, as of right now, I don't know if I'm really feeling that way, but um, you wear this bracelet right here. This bracelet is a magnetic bracelet that you wear this way. Here's the magnet, and as you can see, um, right here is where one of the cuts was, and then this long slit right here, I don't even know if you can see into the camera, but right there, which you can feel it, it's hard, is the other slit. Um, and eventually these scars will go down. Uh, <coughs> it's like a, almost like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's just a little device. It's like a metal device that goes in right here. And the cord connects all the way up. I can actually feel the cord right here. And it connects all the way up into your neck where your vagal nerve is. And um, it's constantly pulsing and going off. You can't feel it um, whenever it's going off um, automatically. Now every 5 to 10 minutes, uh, you sometimes can feel it. And it's a very, very weird sensation. Sometimes your voice gets kind of hoarse. Um, you... Uh, you uh, you feel like a pulsating in your neck all the way down to here. Very weird. Almost like a heartbeat. But 
whenever you get one of those auras and get that funny feeling, you take this and you swipe it across this device right here. That's where you wear the bracelet, so you have it on you at all times. Um, the They put it on the lowest setting whenever you first get it done, and then gradually it gets higher and higher. Uh, two weeks ago about, I got it done where they upped it. Um, that The procedure doesn't hurt where, where they up it. It's kind of like just putting a, something right here in like an iPhone and he just programs it higher. I was upped twice and you automatically just start coughing because every time the bracelet swipes you or any time you get upped then it just takes the breath out of you and you start coughing. It's a very 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 weird feeling. I'm kind of frustrated at the moment I must say because uh, I have this book that comes along with it. It's uh, VNS therapy for patients and it talks about everything in there. It talks about from like the side effects and what will happen. Um, anything you need to know you can actually turn this off if you need to because sometimes like I said my voice will kind of get hoarse every once in a while. You can get this, you can lay it over you for like 60 seconds and it will turn off so that say if you had, if you were in choir then you could go sing again. But I'm actually not too happy right now at the moment I must say because it's not working as great as I thought it was going to. I guess I'm kind of impatient. I've had epilepsy for well over 10 years, and so it gets to be kind of difficult whenever you either try a new drug or you try like the surgery and you don't really see any fast results, then you start to get frustrated. Like I said, I guess I'm sort of impatient, but, you know, I'm ready for all of this to go away. I'm not driving right now um, due to friends and my mom. And uh, they have talked me into not driving because it is not safe. In the past, I, yes, have had seizures while driving. Um, luckily, I was safe and nothing happened. But I know it's still a risk that... I really just can't do to myself or anybody else on the road. I do feel like I have no freedom right now. It's horrible not to just like want to get in the car and not just drive, listen to music, go to the gas station. Something, something as small as that you really don't realize what kind of impact it has because for example I am off right now and I'm sitting at home doing nothing. Um, I would love to go out to the store, I'd like to go to Barnes & Noble right now, go read a book, go grab a book, something, but unfortunately I cannot due to not being able to drive. I have other people do it and um, thank you so much to all of you guys, but it still gets difficult. Um, I usually try to be a very, very positive person uh, throughout all of this stuff, but you you get your down days and you get your up days. You have your days where you're just thinking that you're a superwoman, you can do anything, and everything's going to be fine and great, and then you get your down days where you just don't want to talk to anybody. You just want to cry, you want to ask why me, and you just get in states of depression. Now another thing is this BNS device says it will also help with depression. But it's supposed to help out um, and change your moods. That's another thing that I also got frustrated about. I will come out and go ahead and say it. As for right now, I am not happy with things. I'm actually very, very depressed. I'd rather not say some of that stuff, but if I'm going to be on video and I'm going to be helping others, I have to go ahead and just state the truth. So, um... I have not noticed a change in my mood with the VNS. My doctor tells me that we have to find the right setting for me. It's only been, you know, a month and a half since I've gotten this. But, like I said, I've been on so many different kinds of medication that with the medication, with this, you just want something to work. You want something 